Uh, that's for the uh, that's that's the whole plan. Now I will announce the winners. So uh, we have winners in two tracks: in the weather prediction track and in the motion prediction track. Unfortunately, we didn't have any winners in the um, in the machine translation track for for reasons, I guess. Uh, but anyways, well, further ado, uh, first place in weather pre weather prediction track goes to Ivan Bandarenko from uh, Novosibirsk State University. So big thanks to him. Applause. Um, second place goes to Stepan Andreev from, from EO Labs, uh, Team Kabean Weather. Uh, and third place goes to KDDI Research uh, from Kyoto uh, with uh, Ryochi Kojima, Roberto Lagaspi, Guillaume uh, Habolt, and Shinya Wada. So big thanks to them as well. Um, now, first place in motion prediction track goes to Alexey Posnikov from Zbermbag Robotics Laboratory. Second place goes to Alexey Pustinikov and Dmitry Yeremeyev from VTB Bank and Rosgostrach. Uh, third place goes to uh, Tseng Ching Yu, Li uh, Poshao, and Liu Yu Jia. I'm sorry if I completely garbage your names uh, in terms of pronunciation. So, big thanks to them. So, they are all from Taiwan, sorry, National Taiwan University. Big thanks to them for, for participating and taking third place. Um, and finally, we've got a notable mention. So uh, the home team achieved a very high score, but unfortunately, we couldn't verify their solution uh, for various legal reasons. Uh, so they they take notable mention. They did an amazing job with uh, Thomas Gilles, Stefano Sabatini, uh, Dmitry Chishkov, uh, Bogdan Stanislescu, and Fabien Moutard uh, from Minds Paris Tech and Huawei Research Center Paris. So big thanks to all of our Winners, um, yeah, that's that's mostly there. I, they'll like they'll present their solutions at the poster sessions. I won't spoil the fun and goodness, so make sure to go to the poster sessions. Um, right. So shifts another voice of computer dialogue. Unfortunately, won't be having Milica, but her two postdocs, uh, Nurul and Mikhail, will take over for her, for her. And so she'll. Th this will be a talk on uncertainty and robustness in dialogue systems, which is an a very interesting area. Uh, second uh, keynote will be Rowan McAllister uh, from Toyota Labs uh, on distributional shift and robustness in, in autonomous vehicle planning. So again, a very uh, interesting area and application um, in terms of the robustness and distributional shift. Finally, we'll have uh, Professor Kate Sayenko from Boston University uh, talking about adapting to novel data distributions. And her lab does a lot of work on domain adaptation and on supervised domain adaptation. So I'm sure it'll be an amazing talk. Again. Uh, uh, Kate, Kate has very kindly agreed on short notice to uh, uh, do a keynote, so uh, super big thanks to her. Finally, we'll have a panel discussion on the frontiers of uncertainty estimation and robustness to distributional shift in real-world applications, where we'll discuss uh, really what are the current challenges in uh, how to apply this to, uh, you know, how to apply uncertainty estimation and uh, various robustness techniques to real world applications, to industrial applications, and why certain things haven't scaled, why they have scaled, and what really challenges need to be overcome to make these techniques ubiquitous. So, um, yeah, and we'll have a panel discussion with like absolutely amazing speakers, and it'll be major fun, I'm sure. So, uh, without further ado, uh, at this point, you can ask me any questions, and otherwise, we'll just switch over to uh, Nurul and Mihail. So, if there's any questions for me now, I will take them. Um, I have a quick question. Uh, I was just wondering about the, the machine translation uh, um, competition. Is there any particular reason why did you have any um, uh, any submissions? So um, I think that the task was a little hard uh, in terms of methods. So I think like the only, so there's very few methods actually um, developed for uncertainty estimation and machine translation. Uh, one, so one of those with methods with, with by me. Some of those methods were by Yaren's lab, and there's a couple of methods by people from from Facebook. Um, but they're all basically the same. They're looking at ensembling um, ensembling machine translation systems, which is expensive, which is very expensive. Um, and I think a lot of a lot of the participants came from universities. They they were either undergrads or uh, sorry, my other computer is being loud. Yeah, sorry for that. So uh, I think a lot of people just didn't have the compute to, ru to, to run with it. So I think that 
the machine translation track ended up being in a bit of a uh, tight spot between uh, not accessible enough for the majority of the people and not maybe exciting enough as uh, you know self-driving cars uh, to get more people involved. So uh, I think a lot of people who who did heroically try to participate in it. Um, found it very difficult uh, in terms of computation and also the data pre-processing. So there's there's a lot of work in uh, taking the data, cleaning it, tokenizing it, and these pipelines can get very very sort of tediously complex. And I think that so there so there was a high barrier to entry coupled with high computational com complexity and maybe not enough excitement for the topic. But um, yeah, so that's that's my take. Maybe maybe I'm not entirely correct on that. Yeah. Any, anything else? Thank you. Recording in progress. Cool. Uh, right. So if, if if there's nothing else, let's just uh, switch over to Nurul and Mikhail with the first keynote. Uh, also, can I ask people to like if people have questions during the like if people do still have questions during the presentation, can you just write them in terms of text and then we'll come back to them later? Thank you. Okay. Okay. Can everyone see the screen now? Hello. Yep, I see your screen. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. 